I have been a long-time international volunteer, particularly focused on cleft lip and cleft palate. On every mission, there's always a small number of children that have just such severe deformities that it's impossible to treat in a, a limited amount of time with limited resources. It's bittersweet because you help tons of kids, hundreds of kids, but there's always a handful that are turned away and they'll never get treated. I got an email from a physician that saw this little girl and sent me a picture. She was homebound. She uh, went to school once or twice and then never went back because um, the kids would make fun of her. I know I can't help all those kids, but perhaps I could help one kid. And uh, Celine was the one. And so I started the Smile Rescue Fund for Kids. We did fundraisers and got a lot of community support and we were able to bring her here. And that was the uh, beginning of her transformation. It's been almost 10 years now that I've known Celine. When she first came, she was a very shy, introverted girl and uh, she had no upper lip, almost no nose, no palate, so making, you know, feeding, speaking, everything very difficult. So we, we started the reconstructive surgeries back then our colleagues here at the university, and it was truly a team effort. Everybody volunteered their services, and everyone wanted to help. A lot of pediatric reconstructive plastic surgery is about the timing, because things change as, as they grow, and then you have to appropriately time when things are gonna make the biggest difference. Dr. Dagum did some miraculous surgeries, maybe 10 or so, and as a result, she had her face basically reconstructed. Um, there, you know, it wasn't ideal and it wasn't perfect, but it was functional. She was able to begin speaking and eating normally. Celine is one of our children. And we feel that she's part of our family. She's developed a good, healthy self-esteem, and now it's time for her to go. It's always hard because you see all their changes and transformation and you really get to know know every every one of your patients very very well and uh, they're all very dear to my heart you know I, I feel like they're my own children from the volunteers at Smile Rescue Fund in the three villages and beyond to the Stony Brook medical community we all came together as one it's very heartwarming when you see people change and uh, and you see them you know all of a sudden you know feel like they're they're a new person. So to me, that's the reason I went into reconstructive plastic surgery was really to, to try and change people's lives. You give a lot and um, you always feel your work is never done. You know, it's, um, it's. I just want to say thank you for get all the good gel that they did on my face. And I'm so thankful for them.